All right. Hey, hi there, hi there. Hey, hi, hi. Hi, everyone. Wow, okay. Okay, let's give it a moment for the others to begin, to, to join before we begin. Okay. Hey, hi there, Aryan. Hi there, Ezekiel. Hi there, Alexander. Hi, Ila, Iliabu, Etienne. Hey, I'm good, I'm good. It's, hey, hi there, Summit. Hey, nice to see you, man. Hey, hi there, Richard. Hi there, Philip. Hi there, Mohammed. Zelaya. Salvador. Okay, there's some someone called Samsung. Okay, never mind. Okay, there's too many people. So yeah, I was I'll stop reading the names. Okay, so yeah, welcome to another, you know, Tick Mill webinar exclusive masterclass. So yeah, today we'll be on the MACD. We'll be talking about the MACD. It's a very, very basic, very, very basic bare bones indicator. So most of you guys who have first started trading, you have likely seen the MACD indicator. Hey, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good afternoon. Oh, hey, hi there, hi there. So yeah, my name is Chen Yongjing, by the way. So I'll just type my name out. My name is Chen Yongjing. So we are actually the finalists. So let me get my slides. Okay. So I'm actually from Everest Fortune Group for those who are new here. So we are the best finalists for the best Forex research for 2019, 2020, and 2021. So we are also the finalists for the best equity research for 2020 and 2021. So right now we actually have a special collaboration with Tickmill where we are bringing you guys the good stuff. Just before I begin, just got to read the disclaimer. So do bear with me. So the material provided is for information purposes only and should not be considered as investments advice. So the views, information or opinions expressed in the text belong solely to the author and not the author's employer, organization, committee or other group or individual or company. So, so do take note that this webinar is recorded so it will be uploaded to YouTube, LinkedIn, or other social media platforms. Okay, before I begin, just a quick look. So we actually have a Traders Club. Let me show you guys the Traders Club. I'm loading it. I'll send the link over. Okay, let me get this to load. Okay, what is the YouTube channel? Okay, first. I'll let you know the YouTube channel in a bit. So I'm just checking out the Traders Club. Okay. Just a quick look. This is the Tick Mills exclusive Traders Club. So if you guys want to be here together with me, together with Desmond, together with the other analysts, Jean, Sarah, you guys can actually sign up for the Tick Mills Traders Club. Let me try to get the link out. Where's the Traders Club? Okay, Traders Club, pick meal. All right, so I'll send the link to the chat. So guys, everybody feel free to check out this link. So it's a very, very cool, very, very cool application. So there's latest news events. It will be typed out manually by Jindal. So Jindal will be, every day he will be sending in fundamental news. He will be researching the latest news that you guys can read up on. Exclusive market insights. So there are trading discussions. You guys can ask us any questions there. We'll try our best to answer you. So there's actually a very, very cool feature about the Traders Club. There's something where you can actually link objects to text. So let me show you how it works. It's extremely, extremely cool. So for example, I want to go to the Euro dollar. Okay, I'll just do a test. So let's say, Okay, let's say I maybe I go to the hourly chart. Let's say I'm ex let's say that I'm expecting euro dollar to retest the overlap, you know, the overlap resistant resistance area. So I can likely put price could possibly retest the overlap resistance level. Then comma before heading back down. 
So just this is just an example. So I just draw a line out. Click on it. There's quite a nice overlap area. Overlap area, overlap resistance right there. So what I will do is wait, let me delete all these lines first. Okay. Okay, what I'll do is I'll actually highlight the overlap resistance. So you take a note on the top at the bottom right hand corner. I highlighted it out. I click link object to text. So I can actually link the overlap resistance, confirm it, and then I send it out. So when you are looking at my analysis, you guys want to know what am I talking about, you can go towards, you can highlight overlap resistance. So on your charts, you can actually see what exactly am I talking about so you won't be confused, especially this. This is just an analysis that I wrote earlier on. Okay, this is on the H4 chart. So I was saying that price cleared the previous low. Where is the previous low? So take a look. Create it out. Expect price to continue heading towards the support where the previous swing low is. Highlighted it out. So it actually is highlighting the horizontal line. Okay, link is not working for the United Kingdom. You try again. It might you can maybe maybe try a VPN because it's actually on the Tick Mills official website. So please sign up for it. So you no need to trade solo. You can join the community. Share your thoughts on trading. Then you can save hours of your trading plans. Type it out. See what others think about it. Okay, so start using the Traders Club today. Okay, Link is not working for the UK. Always the same results redirecting to Tickmill UK. Okay, so if you have this problem, feel free to email the Tickmill's uh, email, the helpline. You can contact the support. So I'll send the support over. Contact them, let them know your issue. So this shouldn't be the case. Everyone should be able to assess the Traders Club. Okay, I just sent the link to the chat already. Feel free to ask them. Okay, so let me just delete that analysis that I just wrote since it was a test. Okay, there's also a cheat chat. You guys can talk there, ask us any questions. Okay. So let us begin. So MACD Masterclass. So a few topics to cover today. Okay, somebody asked a question. Paranisami. So you said that you today only registered for the live account and you found out that Signal 2 in MT4. Okay, what do you mean by that, uh, Parasami? Okay, Atiani asked, how do you enter the Traders Club? So please check this link out first. And then you can actually join the Traders Club. So few topics to cover today. What is MACD? Interpreting the MACD, MACD trading strategies. Combining MACD with your trading strategies. Okay. Hey, no problem, no problem, uh, Dijoki, Dijoko. So what is the MACD? So the MACD is the MACD or rather called the moving average convergence and divergence is actually a very, very popular technical indicator used in stock trading and other financial markets. So it is actually a momentum oscillator that helps traders determine the strength and direction of a trend. So let me check. Do I want to talk about the calculation? Okay. Just for general knowledge, you do not have to remember it, do not have to jot it down. So the MACD is actually calculated by subtracting the 26-day exponential moving average, also known as the EMA, from the 12-day EMA. So this, this difference is then plotted as a histogram and is used to determine the momentum of the trend. So a 9-day EMA of the MACD is also plotted and is used as a trigger line to generate buy and sell signals. So when the MACD rises above the trigger line, so there's some kind of crossover. So if it rises above, 
it is a buy. Bullish signal and suggest that the stock or security of Forex currency pair that you are looking at is likely to continue to rise. So on the other hand, so when the MACD falls below the trigger line, so it's going down, suddenly there's some kind of crossover, crossover happening right there. It's actually a bearish signal. So it suggests that the stock security or Forex currency pair that you are looking at is likely to decline to the downside. Also, the MACD is also uh, includes a histogram that, the, that displays the difference between the MACD line and the trigger line. So when the histogram is positive, it indicates a bullish trend. And when it is negative, it indicates a bearish trend. Okay, uh, Paran Nisami, I'll answer you in a bit. So MACD is actually quite a powerful technical indicator. So it actually provides traders like us with variable information about the momentum and direction of a trend. So it's very, very useful for short-term and long-term traders and is widely used in the financial markets, especially retail traders. Okay, a uh, Paranisami, so you ask which time frame should you use? Well, it actually depends on your trading strategy. It also depends on how comfortable are you on what time frame you are on. So for you, you're on the H1. So you should stick with that since that's your strategy. Some people like to go towards the 15 minutes, 5 minutes, or the 1 minute charts. It works very differently for everyone. So I cannot comment on that. It's very, very subjective. Okay, next. Moving on to the components of the Mac. Oh yeah, by the way, before I continue, any questions so far? If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. So I do not want to... Okay, try not to wait until towards the end of the webinar then you guys start to ask me questions. So by then, I might be bombarded with so many questions that I might actually miss out on, the, on your question. So you do not want that happening. So as I go along, as I go along talking, just send your questions in. Okay, Siridon asks, can, can we have a soft copy of this recorded video to get back and review it? So it should be uploaded on the Kickmill YouTube channel. Kickmill YouTube channel, it should be right there. So I'll just copy the link to the chat. All of you guys can actually head on there and subscribe to the channel. All right, okay, okay. Let me continue. Okay, next, where's the, where's the PowerPoint? Okay, components of the MACD indicator. So the, okay, you just got to know this, just a, a rough guide of what is going on. Do not have to memorize it. It's actually just good for general information. So the MACD indicator consists of several components that provides variable information about the trend and momentum of the currency pair that you are trading. So these components include the MACD line. So I'll talk about the MACD line first. So this is the primary, primary line of the MACD indicator and is calculated by subtracting the 26-day exponential moving average from the 12-day moving average. So the MACD line helps traders determine the momentum and direction of the trend. Next, we have the signal line. So this is a 9-day EMA of the MACD line and is used as a trigger line to generate buy and sell signals. So when the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it is a bullish signal. And when it crosses below the signal line, it is a bearish signal. So next is the histogram. So this actually displays the difference between the MACD line and the signal line. So the histogram is positive when the MACD line is above the signal line and negative when the MACD line is below the signal line. So the heights of the histogram bars indicate the strength of the trend. Next, we also have the zero line. 
So this is a horizontal line at zero and represents the points where the MACD line and the signal line intersects. So the zero line can also be used as a support or resistance level for the trend. Okay, so next. Okay, so Syed Muhammad Vali asked, can you tell me, can, can, can I tell you what the pip size for stop loss to put for different time frames? Well, I cannot tell you what pip size to, what lot size, you mean by lot size to use for a stop loss or take profit area? Because it all depends on your trading strategy. So, let me take a look. So let's say, let's, for example, USDCHF. So let's say on the hourly time frame, let's say if you want to take a long position or short, short position, let's say you're trying to short deal to the uh, CHF news earlier on that was very, very bullish for the CHF. So maybe your stop loss right above there. On the one hour chart, take profit, maybe you want to aim for the previous swing low right there. That could be a, pos a possible take profit area that you're looking at. But if you actually move on towards the 15 minutes time frame, some of you might want to say that, oh, because price respects this area right here. So you actually want to put your stop loss right above there. It's actually up to you. It depends on the time frame that you are looking at. It also depends on your trading strategy. Okay, next. I do apologize for that. I'm having some sniffles. Okay, next. Interpreting the MACD. So first, we have the MACD line, which is the blue line. Signal line, which is the orange line. And the MACD histogram is all this green color stuff and this red color bars. Next, the zero line is this straight line, horizontal line, across the entire MACD indicator. So using the MACD indicator, you can actually go to trading view. Let me clear all this out. Trading view, head towards the... Give me a moment. Do apologize, I got to set something. Okay, three, okay, let's get back to it. Okay, so you can actually go under indicators. Type out MACD. So it's the moving average, convergence, divergence. Click on it. So next, you actually have the MACD indicator right there. It's actually free. You do not have to pay for it. So okay. So Etienne Jobert asks, please use the MACD in combination with price action to show where would you enter for the sell or buy. So well, price action, what do you mean by that? I've heard about price action moving from one area to another using supply and demand. So I don't actually use price action for my trading. I actually rely on ICT concepts a lot for my trading or smart money concepts. Okay. So if you're actually using MACD with your price action, feel free to share your chart with the chat. I'm sure of all, everybody will be glad that you're sharing. We can actually take a look at it and review it together. Okay, let me start. So since we have the MACD out already, got it, got it, MACD cross over. So if you actually look at this, let me find the example. Okay, they didn't actually highlight. Okay, look, if you actually see the MACD cross over the signal line, very, very nicely, price actually starts to reverse towards the downside. But when price, Next one, price over here, crosses over. Very, very nicely, price starts to head towards the upside. So that's how you actually interpret the MACD indicator. It's actually relatively simple. So we can move on. Okay, I'll just use the, okay, maybe I should use the Euro dollar. Okay, looking at the euro dollar. Okay, let me find a, use the vertical line. So it's very, very easy for you guys to see. Vertical line, you notice that once price actually had a crossover right there. 
crossover at the bottom there, price started to move towards the upside, towards the downside. But when price starts to cross over once again, price started to move towards the upside. So right now, at this point in time, price has actually, where's the, has just crossed over. So we likely might see bearish momentum continue for euro dollar towards the downside, maybe clearing out this previous low right there. So likely could clear out that low. That could be a target that you are aiming at. Short position, stop loss slightly above and take profit right there. Okay. Can guide. Okay, let me answer a few questions first. Okay, as I mentioned, Etiane, feel free to send your chart in so we can discuss on it. So Siad, you asked which time frame is good for analysis for day trading. Well, you can actually stick towards the four hours. You can start by the daily moving down towards the four hour chart, towards the one hour chart, and towards the 30 minutes, 15 minutes chart. Can use it for day trading. For more experienced traders, you guys can move on to the five minutes and one minute chart. Okay, so Paranasimi, you asked how to set up the parameter. Well, it's actually free. It's under indicators on TradingView. On the top right there, you click indicators, you, you just type MACD. So it's the moving average convergence divergence. Do not have to pay. Click on it and the setting will all automatically be done up for you. Okay, as Zik Chiu, you asked you needed to enter a telegram to learn more about it. What do you mean? I don't think there's a telegram where you can learn more. Well, you can actually check out YouTube. It's free to learn over there. Most of my, in fact, I would say 95% of what I've learned through trading was actually read of my knowledge was actually done through YouTube. As to search through YouTube, you have to filter out good and bad information. Information is there is plentiful, but you got to know, know got to learn which is bad and which is good, who is right and who is wrong. Okay, next, let me find another type of entry. Okay, so this could be a possible sell entry. Just now there was a crossover, stop loss above. Can likely aim for that. Go right there. Okay, next, let me look at this slide. Buying signal, as mentioned, once price crosses over, you can start to buy towards the upside. So MACD trading in a uh, trading strategy. So it's actually a lag lagging indicator. There's also fake signals. So it might not be right that you it also depends on the crossover strength and a potential reversal. So buy entry, this is very, very neatly labeled out already. Looking, starting from the left side of the chart. We have the crossover, price starts to move towards the upside. Another crossover. So you notice right here, what happened? It was actually a fake signal. So although price has Although uh, it says the crossover is happening, you can actually start to look for a buy, but price continues moving bearish. This another one, price crossover, small little buy. The strength didn't sustain on the histogram before it had a cross. Oh, let me get the pen. Before it had a crossover towards the downside with very very strong bearish momentum detected on the histogram. So this is another one, a crossover, but it's a very, very clear bearish downtrend. So for me, how to avoid false signals, I would try my best not to, not to, not to fight against the trend. If the trend is bearish, continue looking for sales, try not to trade against the trend. So that's what I've learned a lot through trading for the past few years. Once you are fighting a trend, most of the time you might actually lose the trade. Okay, give me a moment. 
Okay. Next, let's take a look. Another one, another crossover. So this happened to have strong bullish momentum on the histogram that caused price to continue moving upwards. But we want confirmations. We cannot just rely on the indicator alone. You cannot just look at MACD, oh, crossover, you start to buy, crossover sell. If it's so easy, just think about it. Everyone would be making money. Everyone would be profitable from trading. You got to combine with other types of trading strategies to have that kind of final confirmation, that very, very good confirmation for your trading before you enter any trades. So look at this. It's a nice crossover before price continued moving bullish. So looking at this area, very, very likely, very, very likely since I'm using smart money concepts. So I'll just type it out in the chat, smart money concepts. So if I look to the left, likely to the left of the chart, there could be something that caused price to actually bounce off. So I, I always look for supply, demand, and liquidity areas before I enter any trade. I want it to tap at least into the supply, demand, or at least clear out some sort of liquidity before I have that better confirmation. Okay. Let me just take a look. Okay, just before I continue. So by the way, I actually share free stuff on TradingView. So if you want to follow me, feel free to follow me on TradingView. So this is my TradingView account. So I'll send a link to the chat. Feel free to follow me. It's free. It's free to follow right there. Feel free to follow me. So I'm nearly hitting 600 followers. So I see there are quite a number of you here today. Please help me to hit 600 followers. Let's do it. We, you, you guys can do it. So I'll try my best whenever I am free to provide you guys with free, you know, free analysis on Euro dollar especially. So for this specific situation, I'm expecting Euro dollar to likely tap into the H1 fair value gap. So I actually have all my explanation down in the description. Fundamentals recap. It's very, very different. If all these are typed out manually by myself. Ideas, so I'll show you guys all the ideas what I'm actually looking at. So this was a potential forecast that I did last week. If you take a look, it actually tapped into that breaker block and actually hits the take profit target. Hey, thank you. Hey, thank you, Joseph, for following. Appreciate it. I'm trying to hit 600 followers. Hey, Salvador, I just saw your question in the question and answer area of Zoom. So, you are asking how to determine a quality trade using the MACD indicator. Well, I'll show you guys in a bit. Hey, thank you, thank you. Please share the link. Feel free to follow. 581. Wow, nice. Thank you, guys. So, four people have just followed me. Appreciate it. Alright, so I'll just share, I'll try my best to share more. I'll, I'll try my best to type out in detail, you know. If you guys enjoy it, feel free to boost it also. You know, can click on boost, it's actually free. Okay. Next, let me take a look. Okay. I do apologize, I... Okay, somebody asked how to explain the liquidity area. That's a good question. Okay, liquidity area is places of relative equal high. So if you are looking at the one minute chart, an example would be this, looking at the one minute chart. You notice that. Relative equal rules, let me just find it. Trying to find it. Okay, relative equal rules or relative equal high. Trying to find an example that was already cleared. Okay, looking at it right here. If you notice, these areas, these areas, they are relative equal high. So, let me check. Okay, this is actually quite a nice one. Quite a nice confirmation together with smart money concepts, liquidity area. So if you notice that if I draw a very nice line across, 
price actually went up to clear the liquidity hotspot before it had a MACD crossover right here. So let me just draw a line. Where's that vertical line? So we had a MACD crossover right here. So with our first confluence in place, price just create liquidity, had a MACD crossover, and if I draw a Fibonacci line, so I'm always looking for at least a 50%. So 50% more or less there, but 38% will do. So it actually cleared out the 38.2% Fibonacci area. Make the crossover, you can actually start to look for short position immediately, stop loss above the recent high, and aim for the next level. So liquidity. How do you spot liquidity? Well, so today we'll be talking about MACD. So please feel free to check out YouTube. So actually, I'll just do another very quick example, taking a look right here, relative equal high. Okay, let me get my chart out. Relative equal high. Relative equal high. Right. Please check YouTube on it. Okay, next. Let me check something. Okay, relative equal high. Next thing I want to look at, relative equal low. So if you notice right here, liquidity hotspot, we also have a relative equal low area right here. Price could possibly. In fact, it actually went down cleared out the previous relative equal low. So with your entry right here, short position at the MACD crossover earlier on. Short position, stop loss above, aim for that area, you can have a one-to-one -one risk to reward trade. So yeah, feel free to check it out. Also, okay, let me continue the slides first. Continue. Let me check who else has followed me. Okay, 586, we can do it. 14 more of you. Hey, hi there, Sony. Watching the ongoing webinar. Well, welcome. Feel free to follow me on TradingView. 14 more followers. We can do it by the end of this webinar. Let's try to aim for that target. Okay, next. Okay, where is it? Okay. Sell entry. So with the crossover right here, you notice that the histogram also reflected relatively quite a strong bearish momentum. But as I mentioned, there should always be some sort of supply and demand area. So in this case, it should have a supply area or some kind of liquidity hotspot that should be cleared out before you look for a, another MACD crossover for price to continue bearish. Same thing over here, there's a crossover, price continues, bearish continues towards the downside. So always follow the trend. So this is a good one. This is a good one. Well, this is a bad one because there was no confluence towards the left side of the charts. So if you're selling, well, I don't think it actually tapped into any supply. There's no other reasoning other than a crossover that happened. So right here, it's not bad. Why is it quite a good one? Because we have relative equal high. Price went up, create that area out. Liquidity before, continue, bearish. So looking at this area, why is it not a good signal? Because you notice that although price crossover already, crossover and crossover twice the histogram. If you notice, there's very, very weak bearish momentum. So price could actually possibly already started to reverse towards the upside. Okay, let me, okay, next. 
cell entry. Let me find a cell entry on trading view. Okay. Next, let's take a look at GBP USD. Okay, let me find one. Let me find a downtrend one. Okay, Euro USD. Sell entry. Crossover, okay, okay, let me find one. Find one that is good, a good explanation. Okay, so this is likely a news event. A candles like this, usually news events, I will try to avoid giving you guys an explanation on that. So let me find one. So many news events, maybe towards the one minute chart. Okay, I'll draw, I'll draw the vertical line. I'll just start to mark out. So along the way, I'll do the explanation. Vertical line. So we actually have a buy crossover, crossover. Stick to drawing mode. So we had a crossover, crossover, quite a bit of crossovers on the one minute chart. Okay, I'll stop right there. So if you noticed on the one minute chart, what happened? First of all, I'm looking at the first MACD crossover that caused price to continue, bearish. A very, very good example, if you look to the left side, so I'm talking about at the top, continue looking towards the left side of the chart. And you notice that, if I zoom out, let me get the line out. Price actually cleared the relative equal highs right there. So over here, it cleared out the liquidity hotspots. Liquidity got taken out. So this is actually a high probability trade. So if you actually zoom in, you notice that relative equal highs. The wicks, I'm looking at the wicks, W-I-C-K-S. Weeks are uh, of relative equal high slash liquidity hot spots. Okay, feel free to screenshot it down. So I'll just screenshot it down. Send it to chat, copy chart, copy link to the chart image. I'll send it to you guys. So with the weeks of relative equal high indicating liquidity hot spot, we move towards the left side all the way towards the left side, you notice that price cleared immediately had a MACD crossover. You can start to take a short position, take a short stop loss slightly above and aim for your next target. So for your target, I will not be explaining to you your take profit target. Your take profit target could be when price starts to reverse. So maybe an example, something like right here, the first reversal. So you can start to close out your trade or take partials. Since the overall trend is bearish, you can actually close half of your trade and continue to hold on until the next MACD crossover happens. So at this point, maybe at a second crossover, you can, you can potentially close out 100% of your trade. Okay, let me find another one. So looking at this nice little crossover right here. Quite a nice MACD crossover there. So you notice, relative equal high. Relative equal high, liquidity hot spot. If I draw a line, Price cleared that area out before causing a MACD crossover, crossover right there. You can actually have a short position in place, take a short, stop loss slightly above and aim for price to continue moving 
towards the downside. So you can continue holding on to your trade, holding on, holding on, holding on until what happens until the next MACD crossover happens. So it happens right here. So you can actually hold on. So by then you would have closed out your trade roughly somewhere there. And the next crossover, close out your trade. So I'll just type this out, tax liquidity, clear. Then what is that? Relative equal high. So I'll label it out as cleanly as possible. Relative equal highs. So I'll copy the link to a chart image. I'll send it to you guys. Okay, so Etiani asks, what is the role of the zero line? Can it be used as a buy or sell signal as well? Well, it's actually the zero line, actually this horizontal line right there, it's actually used as a support or resistance level. So if price on the histogram, example right here, breaks above the zero line, you notice that price is moving towards the upside or price breaks below, some bearish momentum is detected. You can actually use it as some sort of support resistance, but you do not have to look at it. You only are, you only are focusing on the crossovers when it happened and how strong, how strong the trend is by using the histogram. Okay, let me check one more time. Ah, one more follower. Well, 13 more followers try to get by the end of this session. We are almost there. Okay. So I know some of you guys, some of you guys actually asked in the question. Okay, somebody asked. So Jonathan, Jonathan, you actually asked, how do you want to, you want to ask me some questions after the webinar, like after the previous session? How do you contact me? Well, you can actually contact me on TradingView. Just now the TradingView link I've sent to you guys already. Follow me there, chat me up, or you can actually chat me up directly here link tree wait let me get the link tree wait uh, i'll be right back i'll get that link out available for you guys so jonathan give me a moment okay so link let me get it link tree all right feel free to check this link out everything about me is there you can follow my youtube channel or whatever you guys want to at the end of the day it's up to you guys whether you guys want to support me so yeah send it the link to the chat already so next let's take a look MACD trading strategy exit. That's now I already showed you guys. Once you enter the buy, buy position, close out at the next MACD crossover. Close. Hey, Jiju Krishna, Krishna, no problem. Okay. Next. Another one. When you close out your cell, enter a cell, so your cell positions should be roughly right there. You can close out at the next MACD crossover. So next crossover is actually right here, roughly right here. So you could close out your trade right there. So you sell again, take a short position, you can close out once the MACD line starts to cross over, roughly right there. Close out your position. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So yeah, I would not, I wouldn't be mentioning the name of it live on this YouTube channel. So you guys can actually find out through that link that I've just sent to you guys. Feel free to follow my Instagram or whatever you guys want. So my Instagram is actually called Chen Yongjing FX. Okay. Next. Combining MACD 
with your trading strategy. So first, you got to identify the trend, whether it's bullish. Always trade with the trend, bullish, bullish or bearish. Trade with the trend. Try not to fight against the trend. So, okay, maybe I might, maybe I, I'm thinking whether to show you guys. So I actually have a, I'm actually working very, very hard on the, let me open my FX book. So I'm not promoting for my FX book, but I actually use this to show off, show the, let me, get, let me sign in. To check my stats. So last year I've been trying out the ICT concepts, you know, versus my old strategy. So my old strategy, if I'm very, very honest with you guys, I actually was fighting against the trend. So I actually had a reversal strategy that I was testing out that did not work well. So I tried out for two months. So you can actually see the turning points. Once my let me get my account in. Trying to get the login. Okay, wait. Okay, I don't think I can log in. Okay. Let me find my FX book. Okay, Said Muhammad, you actually asked different time frame, show different trends. So how do we conclude trend? So well, what I like to do is I always like to follow the trend on the H4 time frame. So if the H4 is very, very bearish, like in this situation. I would be looking for shorts all the way down. I would not be looking for longs. Unless fundamental news events starts to, you know, strengthen the dollar, causing price to reverse towards the upside. Okay, just show you. Let me get the... Ah, I cannot show you guys. Okay. Okay, so I've been testing my strategy, my personal strategy since start of this year. So right now, let me try to log in. This is actually a live account. I've been I've just fixed my strategy. So I've been tweaking, tweaking my strategy, making it right before I add more money. So the problem with traders, we do not like to wait. We do not like to wait for results. We do not like to wait a few months to check whether your trading strategy is right before you continue. So for me, I've just fixed a trading strategy last year. I was looking through why did I lose out all those trades. So I sat down, found out my mistake with my strategy. And I, if you actually look since the start of this entire year, my win rate is more than 90%, so believe it or not. So you take a look, looking right here. So as soon as I confirm that my strategy is working for three months straight, 90% win rate, 80% win rate, I will just start to add larger and larger amounts of money. That's when you know that you are very, very consistent. So take a look. It's custom. It's already 101. On the 1st of January, all the way this year. So notice that I've only lost one single trade. Only one rate since the start of this year, all the way down. It's all in... It's all in blue. It's all in the blue. Ugaijing, no, no, no. Definitely not. I'm still trading the same way as I do. I will not add any more orders. So for this entire year, just for an example, I've taken 18 trades. I've only lost one single trade. So I guess it's a 90% win rate. So yeah, I do not hide. I'll show you guys everything. So most people will think, oh, this guy might be lying because he said 90% win rate. But... The proof is right there. I'm, I'm not lying. So just showing you guys. Please get the consistency right first before you continue pushing, putting more money. Larger amounts of money, I can actually have larger lot sizes. I can risk more. Does not mean I can enter multiple orders. Okay, Syed, is it possible to copy trade with you? Well, I do not offer copy trading stuff. Will not, off will not be offering any of it. Yes, I do. So if you want, you can actually enter this link. Wait, let me get this link out. Feel free to check this out. 
Okay. So yeah, let me continue on these slides. So identify trend, bullish or bearish, trade with the trend, do not go against the trend. So I like to follow the trend on the H4 time frame for me personally. So support and resistance levels. Well, you still got to use your classic support and resistance level. Overlap support, overlap resistance level. So crossover strength. How strong is the MACD crossover using the histogram? So we have the histogram right there. How strong is the crossover? Also, we have the... Let me get the next one out. Potential reversal. So you can actually use MACD as a reversal type of indicator. So on the larger time frame, I'll clear everything out, getting a bit messy. On the larger time frame, you notice that price was very, very bullish all the way. Very, very bullish going up, going up. All of a sudden, we had a MACD crossover right here. So why was this crossover very, very significant? So if you look on the daily charts, if you actually draw a Fibonacci, okay, maybe I should start from the weekly. So if you actually draw a Fibonacci line from the top of the swing high towards the swing low, you notice that price has tapped into the 50% FIB level. Very, very nicely tapped into that before it reversed towards the downside. So going back to the one hour chart, I think four hours was it? Was it only four hours? Now going back to the four hour chart, with price tapping into the 50% zone and a MACD crossover, we can kind of confirm that shots are taking over. Stop loss above, start to aim for the next possible demand zone. So that could be my next possible take profit area. So demand zone. Okay. That could be my next take profit area. So yeah, that's just a very, very basic, basic, basic lesson on how to use the MACD. Just looking at the crossover, looking at the histogram, that's all that you are actually focusing on. Hey, good morning, Daihiro. Okay, your name is Daihiro Dendere from Sokoto State, Nigeria. Hey, nice to have you here. Nice to have you here. Okay. Next. Okay, let me get these things out. Any more questions, you know, any more questions regarding the use of the MACD indicator? Feel free to let me know, you know, before I end this webinar. Any more questions also let me know. So just now, I actually entered a trade on USDCHF. Okay, a crossover is about to happen next. Okay. Hey, Navin Kumar, yes, I do. I think it's in the link that I've just sent earlier on. Please scroll up, click on that link. Okay, submit, all clear. So I'm not going to lie, just now I entered a trade. So it was a pretty, pretty bad trade. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it was good. So just now we actually had the uh, uh, CHF CPI news release at 3.30 earlier on. So roughly right here, we had a CPI news release somewhere here. I wanted to continue the bearish trend, so I took a shot at 309. Stop loss above the high. I was trying to aim for price to continue moving towards the downside. But before I started this webinar, I actually set my trade to break even. So I just hit break even only. Why? Because tomorrow there is the there's the United the US news coming up. So it's actually very, very volatile. And the dollar is strengthening. So I'm not sure why it's still strengthening. So I actually expected price to actually continue moving bearish almost immediately, but it did not happen. So yeah, I closed out my trade there. Price went up for maybe a good two hours. Closed out. Exited. 
break even trade did not lose any money did not pay any commission so i'll still take it as a win i mean although price is still moving down it is what it is okay so there are no further questions okay appreciate you guys for joining me today okay on me if you lose a trade we pay commission well if you use a raw there's a raw versus type of accounts accounts overview so we have a pro account we have a classic account we also have a vip account so vip account definitely minimum fifty thousand dollars spread starting from zero pips one to five hundred lots leverage minimum 0.01 lots and for classic accounts there is zero commissions so i'm actually using a classic account for my trading you are using a pro account although the spreads are lesser but there will definitely be commissions that you have to pay all right so any more questions before i end this webinar 589 11 more 11 more let's boost this boost this boost this let's follow follow 11 more to go okay you're frederick from lebanon where can you find the recording well you can actually find it on the tick news youtube hey thank you maroon karam thank you thank you 589 we got 11 more we can hit 600 all right so yeah, if there are no further questions, I would like to thank you guys for joining me today on this interactive you know, webinar on the MACD Masterclass. So I'll take the, my time to thank everyone. Okay, let me read. Please do not leave yet. Wait, wait. I will read out your names. So thank you, Argonian. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Ariane. Thank you, Seridon. Thank you, Chris Santo. Thank you, Ennium. Thank you, Etiane. Jobert. Thank you, Ezichio. Thank you, Firus. Thank you, FH2. Thank you, Frederick. Thank you, Hartley. Thank you, Hospitio. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Jiju Krishnan. Thank you, Jose D. Guzman. Thank you, Kentoy. Thank you, Kylan. Thank you, Lavarin. Thank you, Manoa. Thank you, Maroon. Thank you, Matimba. Thank you, Maroon. Thank you, Maximilian. Thank you, Myro. Thank you, Nuts. Me. Thank you, Navin. Thank you, Nuku. Thank you, Paran Sami. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Richard Yo. Yes, Richard Yo. Nice to see you here, man. Thank you, Salvador. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Said. Thank you, Shem. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you, Taruna. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you, Wally. Thank you, Wayne. And thank you, Ben Utzer. Hey, no problem at all. So I appreciate you guys for joining. Well, the follow button is actually right here. There should be a follow button right up there. You can click on it. It's on the top left hand, top right hand corner. So yeah, really, really thank you guys for following. So I'll see you guys in the next session. You guys stay safe trading. Tomorrow we have big news events coming up. Tomorrow the USD CPI release. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye. Let me end this webinar.